This story is for Rick. Happy birthday. This story is called Smith's Sisters Murdered Anonymously. John Smith was very fond of scary emails and pop-ups. Every day he would find new ones and post them to everyone he knew. He even started making some himself and sending them to strangers. He loved to scare people on the net. John lived in Plainfield, Wisconsin. One day, in November of 2007, he opened up his inbox and found a message that appeared to be from two young girls. They called themselves the Smith Sisters and told them they were his older sisters, which confused him because he was an only child. They said that years ago, they had lived in his house. He replied, saying he didn't even have any sisters and told them to get lost and to leave him alone. The next day, he received a chilling message with some photo attachments. The first photo was of two young girls. The caption on it said, Smith's sisters murdered anonymously. The girls said in the email that they were indeed his older sisters. They told him that in 1993, they had lived in this house. His bedroom had once been their bedroom. They told him all about growing up and about their lives and how happy they had been until one horrible night. He opened up the other attachment. It was a scan of an old newspaper article. In 1993, two sisters were brutally murdered in the small town community of Plainfield, Wisconsin. Lisa Smith, 19, and her sister, Sarah Smith, 15, were attacked in their parents' bedroom of the night of November 17th, around 1.30 a.m. The Smith sisters were lying in bed when a crazy killer broke into the house. No one heard them scream. In the morning, their parents found the dead bodies of the Smith sisters hidden in the bedroom closet. They had been skinned alive! The killer was long gone and no trace of him could be found. They had been murdered anonymously. Police conducted an extensive investigation, but to no avail. The motives for the attack were never discovered, nor was the attacker ever found. The only lead authorities had was a series of strange emails found in Lisa's computer. The case was closed in October of 2000. In the rest of the email, the sister said that they were angry that the case was closed and people forgot about them. They, they were angry that their parents wanted to forget about them too. They were angry that their parents decided to start over and had a new baby, a little boy named John. They were angry that their parents had never mentioned their daughters or their tragic murder to their new son, John. John Smith sent an angry reply saying he didn't even believe what they were saying. He didn't believe that the Smith sisters were really related to him. And he didn't believe that the newspaper article was real. He told them to go to hell. Five minutes later, he got another email from them. It said, if you don't believe us, look in the bedroom closet. That was the last email that was found on John's computer police were able to trace who had sent the messages to him. On the floor of the closet, the police found a faint message carved in the wood. It simply read, Lisa and Sarah, 1993. Underneath that was another carving that read, John, 2007. No one knows what John did next, but in the morning, John's parents woke up to find their son missing. Then they checked his bedroom closet and got the shock of their lives. There they found the dead body of their son. He had been skinned alive. No one knows what really happened that night. Police were only able to piece together parts of the story based on what they found on John's computer. The parents were devastated. How could this happen to a family? First their daughters were murdered. And now years later their son is murdered. It seemed too weird to be just a coincidence. Two sisters are murdered, and then years later their brother is murdered in exactly the same way. 
in exactly the same place. And the only evidence left behind is a few scary emails. Makes you wonder. <laughs> <laughs>